Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe Universe Health 4. Alright, Palermo's at 14.9. Uh, Palermo's about to finish being converted here fairly soon. November of 87, that's the end of this year. Our Bastions are almost complete. When those are complete, I'll feel a lot better about declaring war on the Ottoman. The Ottoman is currently behind times on us, and all of his forts would be very weak. Um, Austria has not had any issue keeping up. I don't want to just directly attack the Ottomans, though, because they've got uh, that. They've got a lot of stuff. We have actually more force limit than they do, but they have a much higher manpower pool than I do. Because of the Ottomans. You know, it's just one of those things. But eventually they will take up. Tolerance of heretics at the cost of some... Yeah, actually, why wouldn't we take this? More missionary strength and then reduce it back down again? Like, right now, we tolerate him pretty well. I think we do. I think, I think we actually do take that other one as well. I mean... Five stability cost, essentially, for 1% more inflation. Uh, missionary strength. That seems like a pretty good deal. That's going to increase the rate that we convert this by a lot. From 3.5 to 4.5. About 33% faster, roughly. Okay, still making Boku dollars. Yeah, Boku dollars. That's nice. Choose with Austria is now up. Hey, France, you want to attack Austria? Who is doing all this now? Lithuania is occupying the crap out of France. France... Dude, France. France, dude. Dude, dude, France. France is not on the top of the list. Holy crap. What the hell? France has 67,000... Uh, 67 fourths of it, and they only have 13k troops. What is happening to you? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense, man. Well, I think it's safe to assume that if I were to attack Austria right now, um, France would not join. <laughs> Iraq was just full annexed by the Ottomans. Ottomans is strong. Still, this has been a good period of time here for us. Inflation is... Uh, how's, how's inflation looking? It's on its way down. Okay, that's good. Our agent was discovered. We'll just start over. Yeah. Relative strength of the alliance, zero. <laughs> so you're saying Austria doesn't think that the it's a good idea, huh? Look at all these damn alliances that this guy has. What about here? Of course, Bohemia would defend the Ottomans, which is just silly. I might have to just fabricate on, like, Genoa. Uh, something to do. He wants all this. Eventually, this alliance is going to break. Um, he's secured quite a few alliances of his own. France has been forced to give war reps, and they've annulled all trees of Poland. France just got their face kicked in, man. I don't understand why. They're on Tech 13. I guess maybe is Lithuania ahead of them? No, Tech 13. Does France have less development than Lithuania? France has more development, so they should have more money, more, more manpower, just more everything. That makes no sense. Alright, active missionary will go away next month. That makes this go down to zero. Was there anywhere that we could lower autonomy or something? 31, 31. That doesn't make sense to do. Yeah. Papal State exists again. I guess somebody gave them some land. Looks like they're not going to exist for long. They're occupied by Trier. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papal State. Alright, so we only have provincial unrest now in Sus. And that's probably why. I think that that had been occupied at one point. Choose the Portugal is up. Thriving's arm, arm industry is gone. Lithuania has rivaled France. Yeah. They're never going to fight each other again because they don't border each other, but okay. 
Damn, we got caught fabricating on Genoa. Well, I'm not worried about the aggressive expansion. I'm, I'm more concerned about the speed. So I'm actually going to start that over again. I do feel like if, if you get caught less than less than 50% in particular, I think it's better just to restart. Damn. I'm going to start using, losing these claims like one by one now. Can't afford to attack Austria. Well, there's no unrest, uh, no no like actual uprising there. So let's move this guy over here. And get all of our revolt risk down to zero percent. Three months we'll be there. Yeah, I expected the Belarius to come back to positive, but yeah, Papal State has been full annexed, yeah, as expected. So we take over Genoa. It's a shame that Mantua has actual Genoa proper, and that they feel like they're too large. How's our trust and stuff look? Only 44 trust. Someone had mentioned a video or two back that um, they think that the reason why I'm losing trust with people is because I'm not taking the royal marriage, which kind of makes sense. There's never been a penalty before to declining a royal marriage. So I'm kind of tempted to, to test that. The next time I'm offered a royal marriage, I will, I will check trust before and after. So admin tech... Man, I might hit tech 15 before the Ottomans hit tech 14. And that is a very, very substantial level. I think if that happens, we have to attack the Ottomans. Papal State has accepted an electorate offer. <laughs> really? So they exist yet again, I think in a different province now. Um, and now they're an elector. The Papal State is an elector. That's great. Well, I have a feeling that they're going to tech up probably in January of this year. We only have a couple provinces here we have claims on. Oh, man. We did finish our conversions, and I said I was going to look at hiring a level 3 advisor. So let's do that. Uh, it was the theologian, 50% cheaper, they get 15 influence. This was the clergy, they're at uh, 56 influence right now. Or an inquisitor, and only 10 influence. Well, we don't really need the inquisitor anymore, so let's, let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll hire that guy. Ooh, the price on him, too. Level 3 versus level 3, he's, he's much, much cheaper to hire as well. I didn't realize that was also there. That's awesome. Yeah, good deal. I just got an achievement called Factionalism. I have three different estates in your country with at least 70% influence each. Oh. Well, sweet, dude. I totally meant to do that. Alright, well... Since this guy is a dummy... Okay, there he goes. Now he's fabricating his claims. Good, good, good. Hey, looks like we could actually fight Messina. I feel like that's just a... It's just a smarter war to do. Than to just go after the Ottomans right now. On the other hand... On the other hand, I can tech up. Maybe... I don't know, maybe. But if we fight the Ottomans, we're fighting Bohemia. And it's gonna be a messy, nasty, nasty war. Advancement of Religion Act. Gain unrest everywhere for more missionary strength. I mean, generally speaking, the provinces that are already orthodox have no issues with unrest, so yes, we'll take it. The sooner we can get them to be orthodox, the sooner we don't care about unrest. So yeah, we will advance religion.
Yeah, I think we declare war on Morocco. And uh, get this connected over so that we can then attack Tunis. Give that land to Kabylia as well. Build up their strength a little bit. And we'll wait and see. He's still... He's still there, man. We're two tech levels ahead of the Ottomans now. I could totally... I could kick his ass. I could... I could just kick his face in. I just know it. But... <laughs> but what if I don't? <laughs> What if it doesn't go well? Also, I think that a quick, easy war with this guy might make a lot more sense. Now, I haven't told Mantua that I want that land. I'm assuming he's already granted me military access. Yeah. He would transfer trade power to me. You know what? Why wouldn't we do that? Give me all of your trade power. a little bit of manpower here. So we'll ask for trade power here. Yeah, I'm just losing my claims here now on the Ottomans. not much, but, you know, if he's willing to give me, what, 20... 25% of his trade power? Excellent. Considering a lot of his stuff is in the node that I care about. Well, two of his provinces are. That's cool. Thank you. And I do think we just go to war with Genoa right now. Chances are, Messina is not going to be very teched up. Tech 12. Yeah, we have three military tactics levels. Sorry, three three technologies against him. Lubick and Mines don't care about them. I have no idea where Kabilia thinks he's going. He's just, he's going, man. He's going for it. <laughs> okay, and we actually already have our guy here, so this war should go very easy and simple and quick. And down here, we just really want to take the provinces that he has claims on. Because um, I don't want to pay any points for it. I just want to get that connection there. You know, just a little quick, easy war. Get, get our guy built up a little bit be prepared to expand. Um, I could spend a few Diplo points just to take over a lot of these, like, three development provinces. Um, we could take his two claims and then, like, take these two to get a border over here with Clemson and try to maybe give him some horrendous border issues. Might not be a bad idea. Suffering attrition here is silly. We just finished the siege, and then the war score cost for this province is only 29%, but they're not going to be willing to peace out until we've actually probably beat their armies a little bit. Now, Messina does have military access. There's a connection right there. So, we should actually see their forces at some point. Okay, pretty easy siege. You want to give me money? You're trying to bribe me? 
No, how about I take your one province? How's that sound? Yeah, it would result in your full annexation. I'm aware. That's it's your only province. This is why I want it. See, this is where, again, I don't like how I have to attack into defensive terrain. But we're going to do it anyway, because, you know, we've got a nice large army with lots of cannons. But still, it'd be better if they were stuck in Lucca, which is farmlands. It'd be easier for me to engage into that. So, oh well. I'm not going to march up there to Lubick. We're not going to deal with that. And it looks like we might actually need to do some more sieges over here. So let's mar march those armies over. I want to become a theocracy. Diplomatic, religious. I mean, we could swing it. There's still four more RD groups available, but... Albania, the theocracy. Would we, uh, we'd still be orthodox, so we wouldn't lose patriarch authority, right? That's a, that's a feature of the religion. We would lose nothing, really. We would lose legitimacy. We would become, uh, use devotion. Oh, yeah, you're, you're on low enthusiasm, huh? Well, duh. Eventually, he'll agree. There's the truth with Naples. Naples still allied to people that are really far away. And we still have lots of claims on Naples. Yeah, I feel like even though this is a great opportunity, I just have I have to I have to do me, you know? I, I have to get myself stronger before we try to throw ourselves against the behemoth. It just doesn't seem like it's a good idea to to throw myself at the Ottomans probably win due to the technology difference, but then at the same time also lose because then the opportunity cost, the uh, amount of effort that had to go into winning the war will be much, much higher than what I'm doing right now. Like, easy war, easy war, easy war. Like, easy wars are easy. Easy wars are good. Like, we like easy wars. Easy wars mean that we can build up our manpower pool to the limit. And at the same time, train new troops and not lose lose the small amount of like momentum that we've gained. So if I take this, that's going to cost me 131 points. This one's going to cost me 190. It's in the Genoa node, and it's got a lot of trade power. I think we could start it on this war as well. Three wars at once? Now that's more like it. Also general. Hopefully he doesn't get a morale tick. It looks like he will. But we're the defender. And, uh, yeah, he actually has very little morale, so... Okay. Only four cannons there. Let's get a few more. Speed this siege up. It's obsolete to us, so... There's Morocco's army. This fort feels like it's not really doing much, does it? Marcus on medium enthusiasm, but that's not going to be enough to just take those two provinces. And Genoa, probably not going to be willing to surrender for quite a while. Which is fine. I mean, there's really no real major urgency to it. Can I build more? Regimental camps. Build one here and here. And so we shall. This is considered not Africa, right? Yeah. Just had to check and make sure, you know. You never know. Okay, these two guys are back. Um... 
I don't think we have to worry about those falling. I'll just finish my siege and then we'll go engage with the 30 stack. I think once we get his capital, this guy's going to surrender. Despite his strong ally, Messina, he's not going to want to stay in this war. Stuff is defecting. Okay. It's unfortunate. Here comes Sweden. They're involved with the Naples War. I've accidentally engaged this army. Accidentally killed it as well, I think. Bad general. It's actually pretty good. Okay, that indicator was a lie. You're not going to be able to do that. We're going to take that. I need to get down onto the Swedish stack. 70%, really? Wow, this siege is taking forever. Hess became a vassal of Austria. So, hey, Genoa, how about that full annexation, eh? Alright, so we've got Morocco's capital. We've won the Siege of Napoli. You can now head up there. The Navy can go blockade that port. Uh, Morocco, I don't want much. I just want these two things. And if we take more... Have you fabricated more claims? He did. Wonderful. Good job. And beyond that, it's going to cost us uh, 8 points. Our government does reduce it, so it would normally be 9. Yeah, I think we just take extra. We just give it directly to him. I've got other wars going on right now, so I can't grant provinces to him. I've got to, got to have him take them directly. He's not willing to give me that much, huh? My mouse just stopped working. No idea why. Well, I guess that's the end of the video then. I, my mouse is... I can zoom in, but I can't move it. The laser's not working. Very strange. Alright, well thanks for watching everyone. I'm going to fix this issue, and we'll be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon.